Hi and welcome to another edition of In the Mood to Scrap. I'm Vilna Furstenberg. Today the mood board is very soft and romantic and if you are acquainted with my style that is just what I love. Um, but this month I was looking at images of type and typewriters and text and all sorts of interesting ways to bring text as a texture onto your page and this is the mood board that I came up with and I'm super excited to translate it into a scrapbook page. Before I show you the final page I just want to show you a couple of the products that I'm going to use and it's that typewriter stamp from Evolicious, those beautiful ribbons by Dear Lizzie. I'm going to use the Big Brush Artist Pen by Faber Castell and I will show you a little tutorial on how amazing they stamp. The Ollie Edwards Technique Tuesday stamp, some My Road and some Maggie Home collection by Crate Paper. I'm also going to use some product that has a lot of text and type on it. So it's going to be really fun working with all these products. I love this paper by Maggie that she wrote in her own handwriting and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit of writing on a page with your own handwriting. The embellishments we're going to use is from the Maggie Holmes collection and it comes with the paper pack and it's the die cuts that you can just tear out like I'm doing there and it's perforated so it comes out easily and it's just paper and I just totally loved that sheet of embellishments. Right so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece of the Lizzie paper that I've used on another page. Just going to cut a strip of it and that's going to be the basis of my embellishments. Speeding the video up, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to layer it with the Maggie Holmes handwritten paper and then a little bit of the Dear Lizzie Lucky Charm 6x6 paper pad. You can see that beautiful piece of paper that's also handwritten. And I'm going to layer it behind each other. So all the pe little pieces that I'm cutting off, I am saving. For another day and my thinking with adding the embellishments was that there's this one page on the mood board that I will show you right now that is how it came from the side of the page and almost enveloped the page you can see this one picture with the beautiful florals and that's what I was thinking of adding those florals to the side of my page and and almost like it encompasses the page. So I'm adding my embellishments with a little bit of hot glue and you can see how I let it dry and just lay it down so it dries in a dimensional way. The next thing I'm going to do is use this inspiration part of the mood board and use the Maya Road buttons and stamp pieces to create this effect almost like typewriter keys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my My Road patterns and now I'm going to stamp with the Ali Edwards Technique Tuesday stamps using the Big Brush Pen by Faber Castell. You can find these in the information part of the related products and they are fantastic to use on stamps. So you can see the broad point the big brush and you just brush it over the the stamp and the thing is it's India ink so it stamps beautifully and it's waterproof so you can paint over it now and it won't flow also the brush looks big but it's not flowy it's quite sturdy and they are a zillion colors so I just absolutely love using these pens, especially on stamps. 
So now I'm using a different stamp and a different color. And I'm just going to brush it like you say like I say it's it's a it's not a flexible brush. It's a hard brush, but it works beautifully. Also, I'll show you later um, if you want to color different parts of stamps, these pens are fantastic to do that. Right, and now I'm going to stamp my typewriter stamp. And again, I'm going to use the brush and just color it. And the big the big tip makes it very easy to color it and just make sure that you cover the whole stamp with the ink which I think I didn't do and now I'm going to spritz with a little water just spritz on it you can see there and let it air dry for a second and I'm going to press this one didn't print well because I missed a part of the stamp but You'll see the second one, how beautiful it is. And again, I love the watercolor effect of the big brush pen and a little bit of water um, on the stamp itself. So let's just try again. And this time I just made sure that I colored the whole stamp. And maybe stamp a little harder as well okay so now you can see how beautifully it's stamped the big brush is a wonderful way to get very detailed stamps and if you have a very detailed stamp I'm thinking of the Sun Drifter feathers and, and really stamps that has a lot of detail these pens work fantastic let me show you quickly if you want to color so I'm gonna make two different colors and I'm using again the technique Tuesday Ollie Edward stamp and I'm coloring one word in gray and the beginning and the last word in red and you can see how easy it is to how finely you can work and how easy it is to do different colors or just different parts of a stamp I'm spritzing it again, which I didn't do with the others. And there you go. It's so easy, it's lovely, and it's wonderful. Now using the same big, br big brush pens, that's a tongue twister, to color those beautiful Mile Road embellishments. It's little wood circles with symbols on it, and it looks like typewriter like a typewriter's keys so I'm just coloring the the butterfly and the heart and the little birdie and then I'm going to add those strips that I that I printed or stamped and I'm just going to add a little hot glue and add it underneath the typewriter exactly like on the mood board right the next thing I want to do is just as the page is there I'm going to trace around the papers and my picture to determine where I'm going to add my journaling because like I said in the beginning this page is going to be a journaling heavy page right I've adhered my keys as I want to call them and you can see it's just now a strip of paper oh and I'm gonna add in this lovely navy and white chevron by dear Lizzie from her lucky charm collection and where that came from is from the black and white stripes on these two beautiful oil paintings with the colors and then just a little bit of contrast so I thought those navy chevrons just work perfectly with the flowers. Now I'm going to just add my journaling and I'm going to speed up the video to show you. Um, you can see here I'm writing in a pencil and I like to do journaling in a pencil because 
when I make a mistake, I can erase it. Um, and it just makes it easier. If I can talk to you a little bit about journaling in your own hand. Now, a lot of people will tell me um, I don't have a handwriting like yours or Ali Edwards or Marcy Penner or any of your scrapbooking heroes. And you know what? My standard answer is that your children and your loved ones do not care. They love you. And I think of my own mum, who I'm fortunate to still have in my life. And her handwriting, to me, is the most precious thing on earth. It just tells me everything about her. And whenever I find a note that she wrote in her own hand, I do appreciate it. Doesn't matter how it looked. So I want to encourage you, and this is my challenge to you this month, is to handwrite on your page. What I'm writing here, and I must confess, I cheated a bit. I wrote it down and then I <laughs> erased it and wrote over it again, just because I videoed it, is I wrote a prayer and it's a prayer for me and it's maybe something that I just need right now in my life. So, and that's just how I write and a lot of my journaling thought is letters, to write a letter, dear Jana, dear Tia, dear Kirsten, and and that that makes it come easily. You know, you can sometimes just write about what was your day like? What are you feeling right now? What are you thinking right now? And even if it doesn't make a lot of sense to other people, even if it just makes sense to you, then it's absolutely worth it. Right, now I'm just going to add my embellishments. I, you, you can see there that I added some paint splatters and it's from October afternoon I think it's lemonade it's called and here you can see details of the page with all the elements all the types the typewriter the text the texture of the text and I distressed the edges of the white cardstock as you can see here if you enjoyed this video I'm sure you will love my art class with Vilna which you can check out in the related product. And I hope that this video and mood board put you in the mood to scrap. This is Vilna and until next month, bye.